Hello there, my name is Lori Franklin and this is my new YouTube channel, Breastfeeding Beginnings. And you have met me in the milk bar. Welcome. I'm so happy that you decided to take this time out for a few minutes to get some tips on breastfeeding and making your uh, breastfeeding experience more enjoyable and pleasurable. Uh, I've been, just to give you a little bit of information about myself, I've been a registered nurse for 16 years, bachelor prepared, and also I am a IBCLC, which stands for International Board Certified Lactation Consultant, which means I can do this anywhere in the world, and it's a fabulous thing. Uh, I have, I do believe that this is my calling to help people and um, to live out my purpose of helping people, and this is my way of doing that and giving back to the community. So, um, I have uh, worked in hospitals, I've worked in private practice, and also uh, right now I work with a, a major company doing lactation consultant, but I wanted to start out something new because people were saying, you know, you should start a YouTube channel. Uh, and so here I am. I believe in myself, so I wanted to do this and start something new and also to help as many people as I possibly can. Um, above all else, I want you to know that you can do this. Breastfeeding can be very challenging, difficult at times, baby's crying, mother's exhausted, is the baby getting enough, what am I doing, I have no idea what I'm doing, my nipples are sore, all these different things, but it can work. You just have to put in that work at the beginning. Now listen, breastfeeding is a natural thing, but it is a learned behavior. So you have to, you know, just be consistent. Get help early on. Don't wait until you have major problems two, three weeks out. You know, it starts from the beginning. The breasts are organs and you have to take care of them and you have to take care of this baby. Um, and so uh, I'm going to help you do that and meet those goals. So uh, just know that I have a very good sense of humor. You will hear me say boob more than I say breast during this process. Uh, and so uh, just be aware of that. Uh, one thing I want to say too, if there's a man involved, husband, spouse, you know, boyfriend, I don't know who it is. If whoever is helping you, if it's a man helping with the breastfeeding process, I need them to be in a room when you're watching these videos and getting the teaching because when I talk about positioning and holding the breast, holding the boob like a burger, he's going to get this quicker than you can because a man knows what to do with that boob better than you do, which is why you're in this situation right now. Am I not right? Okay. So anyway, um, just to give you a quick tip, and most of all, and most of all my videos will be short because I know you don't have a lot of time baby screaming, you got dishes to do, and all kinds of stuff, okay? Um, they'll run between five and 10 minutes, that's it. And so there'll be different topics. This is my first one, so hopefully there'll be, uh, not hopefully, there will be many more, okay? So um, first we're gonna just practice, okay? So main reason people come to see me for breastfeeding support is usually because, the quote, it hurts. And then I hear that I was told, you know, I was told it's supposed to hurt. Well, that's not true. Uh, breastfeeding should not hurt. Um, tenderness, soreness, absolutely normal at the beginning um, of breastfeeding because your nipples have never got to work out this time. Eight times a day. Babies eat a lot. Newborns eat every one to three hours around the clock. This is normal and they eat more at night than they do during the day. And that's because your hormone prolactin, which helps you produce breast milk, is more elevated at night. Babies eat more at night. They're in sync with your body. Um, and so when they eat more at night, they gain weight better. Your milk supply is better. And then they sleep a lot more during the day. Uh, if you remember those last few weeks of your pregnancy, you probably had a hard time sleeping because the baby was tossing and turning. Uh, and that was the Lord preparing you for what was about to happen when that baby was born. That was like, you know, your two, three weeks notice when you're about to leave and start a new job. There you go. All right. So, um, so they up at night, they feed, 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 and then they sleep a little bit more during the day. So um, the thing is, you want to make sure that you're resting, number one. Sleep when the baby's sleeping when you can, but also when it's time for feeding, get everything together. So find that spot. Get your favorite chair. Make sure you're good in position, comfortable. Get all your blankets around you, your pillows, whatever ones that you use. And then make sure that the baby is comfortable too. Don't be worried about the baby screaming and howling when you're trying to latch them because they're very impatient and they don't know what to do with their hands. Their hands are all in the way. So 
we're gonna talk about how to put those hands out of the way so tip number one if you gotta uh, when you're first learning how to breastfeed don't wear a bra it's it's just it's just it's harder when you got all these things on so skin to skin lots of skin to skin okay and um and then you want to make sure if, when you do have the time to get a bra you want to get one if you can try to get ones that are a frame bras better yet get one that's a pumping slash nursing bra that way it saves you money and you get better use out of it for pumping and for breastfeeding okay so also with the a-frame bras or the pumping bras when you unsnap it there's a strap here and that way you can stick the baby's hand out of the way so see you just put them you know lock them in there for just for a few seconds so i'm gonna you know i got i got two boobs here all right like i said boobs One's, uh, you know, plastic surgeon messed up because he gave me two different colors. Anyway, so we'll just pick one for now. We'll pick this one because that matches with my skin tone a little bit better. So when you hold, when you hold the baby, we're going to, there's different positions. You can use um, um, cross cradle, cradle. Most people want to do the cradle. Cradle hold is a little bit more difficult for newborns because they don't have the neck control. It's all over the place. So um, you want to hold the baby in front of you. You're going to do cross cradle, okay? So when you do this, you want to make sure that the baby's on his side facing you, all right? If you can, hold, hold, make sure the baby's nose is right across from the nipple, not the mouth, the nose, and there's a reason why. So you want to hold around the ears, the neck, and the shoulder of the baby. So low on the ears, right? Right at like the base of the neck is where your little, his little neck should rest like right here in your hand. And your palm is right between the shoulder blades on the spine and the arm is straight down the baby's back. So his body's like curved into you. So you can hold him nice and snug against you. Okay. And so here's the nipple. Here's the baby. And so let's say his nose is right here. Okay. So when you look at the baby's mouth, you have to treat your boob like a burger. And when you, for the baby, okay, not for you, for the baby. So just imagine your baby's there. If you have the baby, practice with me while I'm doing this. Hold the baby. Make sure his nose is right across from the nipple. Now you have to say to yourself, if my boob were a burger, how would I squish it to fit it into this baby's mouth? This way is not correct because he's coming this way. You're going to have to tilt your hand underneath and hold and squish. Not this wide squish. You want to squish it down because when you eat a burger, you squish it a lot, right? Before you put it in. So you have to do the same thing with your breast. You squish it and you put the nipple right at the baby's nose. Now, wherever you touch a baby on the face, that's where they're going to turn. So you want it here. So when he opens his mouth and he throws his head back, you shove him on real fast. And you hold. And you wait. Now, you might feel a slight pinch when the baby first gets on. But... After about 10 or 15 seconds, it should ease up and feel like a nice, strong tug, okay? So when the baby's drinking, you want to see this nice, wide jaw movement. And you will be able to because the way the baby's positioned, the head will be tilted back. The hands are going to be on both sides of the breast. I think I forgot to tell you to put that other breast hand up underneath the breast. And then um, you'll see this nice, wide jaw movement. Now, if you touch, put the breast here, the nipple here, the baby, and you touch the lip, he's going to look down. You don't want him to look down because if he does... His chin will go on his chest. He'll have a double chin like I do soon. You'll be happy when he gets it, right? But if his head is down, he can't open his mouth wide, which means he's just on the nipple and it pinches. That's why it hurts. Milk can't come out. He needs to be back far enough, okay, to really get milk out. And you should see nice wide jaw movements. So these are just some quick tips. I'll have some other things and samples uh, and later on. If there's certain questions or general questions, general questions, you want to ask, you can put them or topics you would, would want me to cover. You can put that on there and I will look into that um, and bring you what you need to meet your breastfeeding goals. Uh, hopefully that was helpful to you. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And I guess I need to learn how to say, if you liked it, please check like click subscribe and share it with all your friends. Remember, you can do this. Just be patient and consistent. It will work and I'm here to help you. Thanks. Have a great day.